Hi guys, what's going on? Tyler here and today we're talking all about how to build out a header menu for your Elementor WordPress website. And this is using Elementor Pro plugin to go ahead and build out this header. And if you're interested at upgrading or using Elementor Pro at any time during this video, be sure to check out the links down below in the description which explain how to get Elementor Pro and you can see that price that you can get there. So let's, with no further ado, let's just jump right into it and show you how to build out a header using Elementor Pro for WordPress. All right, so starting from the WordPress dashboard, all we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and hover over templates here, which is right below your Elementor plugin menu here. And we'll go down to Theme Builder and click on that. And then from Theme Builder, we'll go ahead and select the header tab menu right here. And we will go up to the top and click add new header there. So we'll just click that add new button and then we can go ahead and name the header that we want to create right now. For right now, we'll just put examples so we can go ahead and create that. And the type is a header right there. All right, once this loads up here, we have a few different options here. These are all pre-designed headers that we can go ahead and work off of. They have all different kinds of headers such as just basic menus with a gradient behind it or just different colored menus right there something more basic with just a logo and the menu over here on the right hand side. I like that style right here. Let's go ahead and use that, but we can actually design it out ourselves. So let's go ahead and just hit the X here and we can go ahead and start building the header right up at the top here. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. And let's click right here and drag in an image for the left hand side. Let's actually first we'll just divide this up into two columns to make it just super simple and basic here. We'll divide this into two columns and for the left hand side we will drag in an image and for the right hand side we will go ahead and drag in a nav menu right here. So we can just drag both of those in and I will show you just how simple this actually is. So what we're going to do is go ahead and add my logo here first. I'm going to go ahead and add my signature logo and just looks really well on a kind of rectangle and a horizontal style uh, header and we can go ahead and get that added right now. All right, so once I have that added, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into style and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the width to the size that I need it to be. Again, I'm gonna switch this over to pixels so it's a specific pixel size. I like around 200, I think that's a good size right there. And then I'm going to go, go back over to content menu here, the tab, content tab here, and align it to the left. So it's actually pushed to the left hand side and it is aligned over there. And then as far as the menu goes, I'm just going to go ahead and click this edit button here. And I'm going to go ahead and select the menu that I would like to use from WordPress that I've set up in the WordPress backend there. And I'm going to use the main menu. If you guys haven't set up any menus yet or you're working on setting up menus, this is basically how you do it. You just go over here to your main website, go to dashboard, so you're in the WordPress dashboard, and then go over to hover over appearance and click on menus. And then it's super simple from here. All you have to do is click create a new menu. There might even be a button up at the top that says create a new menu if you haven't created one already. And uh, yeah, it's just that simple. You go over here, you select the pages that you want, you check them, and then you simply click add to menu. And from there you can just drag and drop in whatever order you want. And if you want to put them, make sub menus, you can drag it to the right and that will create a sub menu just like that. And uh, if you wanna rename anything, you can go ahead and type in right here the navigation label and that will adjust the label that actually shows up on the menu. Um, you can use the pages, posts, you can search for anything that you need right there. Also, you have custom links. You can link out to maybe like a YouTube channel or anything of that you know, nature, some random link that you would like to put up there in your menu. And uh, then go ahead and hit save menu. And then come back here and uh, save this as a draft and refresh your page and you should have that option to bring that menu in right there. So I already have that right here, so let's continue to build out our header. All right, so now that we've got the main components here on the header, let's go ahead and just work on the style here. I'll hit edit here again on this menu, so I'm in this menu uh, layout options here. 
And from here, I'm going to go ahead and align it to the right. So it's aligned to the right, and I have my logo image aligned to the left. So they're kind of spread out evenly there. And then if we want any kind of animation, we can select that right here. We can hit slide, and you'll see here this kind of this under um, underline here just kind of slides in like that. If we want it to maybe grow, we can see here what that looks like. See how it kind of starts in the middle and then grows out like that. We can select those. Um, we can put drop out. Let's just see what this looks like. So that drops in kind of from the top. It just kind of drops in. That looks pretty nice. I, I do like that there. Um, the submenu indicator, so this little arrow over here, we can have it classic. We can have it chevron, so it's a little drop-down arrow like that. I do like that there. Um, we have an angle, kind of a thicker angle there, or a plus. Um, I like the chevron. I think that looks nice and clean just like that. So, okay, we have that right there, and then we'll just continue on. Um, the align will have it to a side, the toggle button. So when we actually shrink this down to a mobile view, do we want that toggle button to look like a hamburger or none toggle? I pr typically like the hamburger look. It just kind of gives you that typical, you know, touch menu um, feel to it. And the toggle align will just leave it in the center for right now. Again, all of these um, settings you may want to adjust to fit your site and to fit, you know, different devices if you're going to switch to mobile view kind of to fit, fit whatever you need it to fit. Um, for right now, just leaving it in the middle here for me is, is gonna work okay. So we'll just go ahead and continue on with that. And as you can see, this header is just about done. We have our menu, we have our logo. It's looking really nice here. Um, if I wanna adjust this and maybe put some padding here, I definitely could maybe kind of push it down so it's a little bit more even with the other menu items and maybe I even want to push it in a little bit from the edges so it's not you know pushed all the way out to the edges but it's pushed in a little bit um, I'm gonna go ahead and add just like a 15 padding there so it looks a little bit more even um, as far as the padding at the top kind of it looks pretty centered there so we'll go ahead and add that 15 padding to that and then the rest looks okay to me. Um, let's go ahead and make it a little bit like fancier, kind of have it pop off the page. So let's go up here and click this menu, this little button with these six dots in there. Um, this is where you would actually drag your section, but if you click it, you get this option menu right over here. Um, let's go into style and let's go into border. And under border, I'm gonna go ahead and add a box shadow. And then I'm gonna add right down here uh, let's add a vertical shadow, maybe about, maybe like four pixels down. And uh, let's go ahead and just take a look and see how that looks. So as you can see right away, this, this really pulls it off the page. So it looks like it's hovering over the page there. Um, if you like that look, you can definitely add this. If you don't, you know, you definitely don't have to. I kind of like the look, so I think that that looks okay right there. All right, now if we wanna make this actually like a sticky column so that when we're scrolling the menu, actually, the header actually stays up at the top, we can do that very simply and you can do this with just about anything on Elementor. But I'm gonna go ahead and click these six dots right here where you would move this section right here. I'm gonna click it again so we can go and enter into the menu here. We'll go under the advanced tab right here and under motion effects and we have the sticky right here. We can have it sticky to the top or bottom We'll just go ahead and click top there. And so when we are scrolling now, you see the menu actually stays there. Now, one thing I did notice here is the menu is currently transparent. There's no background color to it. If you can see like these buttons right here, just go right through the menu. So we'll wanna go ahead and add a background color to it. So let's click here again, and then let's go ahead and go to style, and we will go to background type, and we'll choose classic, and we'll choose a color. I'm just gonna go ahead and select white here. And once that is selected there, we should be good. Now when we scroll, you can see it acts just like it is pulled off the page and stuck to the top. So it's just moving with the page and uh, wherever we scroll. So I think that looks really good. I think it's you know very nice, very clean. Um, one thing I may adjust is the size of my logo here. Let's go ahead and maybe take this down just a little bit maybe down to like 150. 
and then I actually do like that thicker menu so let's go ahead and adjust this here for the whole entire section here and let's just add a margin to the top I'm sorry a padding we'll just backspace that we want a padding to the top and bottom so we'll add maybe a 10 to the bottom and a 10 to the top and that's going to give it a much more thicker menu fill so um, everything is looking pretty good um, let's go ahead and just publish it and take a look and see how it looks uh, one thing that I am noticing over here is this may it looks like this she she is maybe appearing behind the shadow let's go ahead and publish this and take a look and see how it looks first but um, I can adjust that if I need to so where do we want to display the menu we'll go ahead and add a condition here um, we want to display it across the entire site that's pretty much what I'm gonna put I just want it to display you know everywhere um, you can put exclude certain spots or include certain spots um, you can click this drop down and you can select singular and then you have all your different um, pages if you only want it on one certain page um, for right now we can go ahead and just leave it to every entire site here include the entire site and then we'll hit save and close and let's go check out our header all right guys so I went ahead and disabled my other header and I'm here now to check it out for the first time and here it is guys it looks really good um, you can scroll and everything just stays up there at the top just like we wanted it I think it looks really good and, and very professional looking um, if you hover over the resources tab here um, I hovered over it and it actually is on top of the shadow so there was no issue there it was just a back-end rendering issue so um, back in here it looked like it was going to be under the shadow or maybe possibly you know underneath something but it, it wasn't it was actually if you look at it closely it is actually over the shadow it's just under this little blue box here so it seems to work just perfectly um, and that was it pretty much we set up a header just that fast and and made things just that easy one thing I did want to show you here is right here it did it was looking a little bit weird I had kind of this this white background um, right here and uh, let me show you here if we go to menu and click this edit button again and go to style and we go to the normally the main menu will be selected we can close that and click drop down and uh, this is what it was set to right here and let me go ahead and just clear this out and this is what it was set to it was just white and so it was really hard to see and just kind of didn't look right so I went ahead and changed the background color if you can see here we'll just go ahead and refresh this so I can show you here the difference and uh, if you hover over it it was white so it was just eh, it was okay it was kind of hard to see though so I went ahead and changed the background color to just a nice light gray there and that allowed it to look a lot cleaner and uh, let's go ahead and update this and refresh our page over here and I'll show you what that looks like right here so now it's this gray you can clearly see it a lot better and it's just easier to select right there so yeah um, that's pretty much it we pretty much have set up our whole header so if you have any questions be sure and drop a comment down below like I said this is an Elementor Pro only feature so if you are interested in upgrading to Elementor Pro be sure and check the links down below in the description to see if you can get um, you know just that Elementor Pro at a great price there and also if you wouldn't mind be sure and hit that like button and drop a subscribe um, just smash that subscribe button because that allows me to continue to make videos just like this and really helps me know what type of videos you guys are interested in so again thank you so much for watching I appreciate your time and be sure and make today a successful one take care guys